Hey, Sid, uh, just what did you think of Kapanen's game and his return, and just how big is it getting him back in the lineup? Yeah, I thought he played really well. Uh, you know, his speed was pretty evident right from the start. He got a really good look there early on in the game, and, uh, you know, obviously on his goal, he used the speed wide again. So, um, yeah, it was great to have him back in the lineup and fun to see him out there. Seth Roba. I said, uh, this is a bit off topic. The other night, you guys set up two goals uh, using bank plays off the boards. I think there was a goal earlier in the month where uh, Brian Dumlin banked the pass off the boards to you, and you set up Jay Gensel for a goal. Is there anything unique about the boards in this building? Are they lively? Are they kind of dead? You know, and how do they maybe compare to some of the other boards around the building? Are there any other buildings that maybe stand out in that regard? Um, I think they're just pretty true. I wouldn't say they're super lively, but I wouldn't say they're dead. I mean, I think for the most part, uh, you know, just whatever angle you're trying to get, usually uh, it comes off pretty well. So I think guys, you know, trust using the boards when they need to. And, um, you know, it's it's a it's a play that you can use to your advantage. I mean, sometimes you can't go direct; you have to go indirect. And when you get true uh, true bounces like that, it's it's really important to making those plays. Rob Rossi. Hey Sydney, I don't mean this in a joking manner. Is there a is there a secret to scoring first minute goals, or do you think that maybe that's a prime opportunity to strike, given the attention to detail and whatnot? Um, I don't know. I think it's just, you know, that's when you're going to be the most fresh is that first shift. I think the adrenaline's flowing and, you know, you're trying to set the tempo for how you want to play for the rest of the game. And, you know, whether it turns into goals, maybe not always the case, but I think you always try to set the tone for how you want to play. And I think, you know, coming off the of last game, um, you know, we weren't happy with our third period, obviously. So I think we just want to have a good start and get in the right, uh, you know, frame of mind and, you know, it was nice to nice to get one early. Dave Molinari. Uh, thanks for speaking with us, Sid. Uh, how much, if at all, was the uh, the third period from the other night discussed during the second intermission tonight? And how do you feel like you guys played in the third tonight? Yeah, I mean, obviously we looked at it like an opportunity to to learn from the situation we were in the other night. So, um, you know, it was mentioned, but you know, we. You know, we looked at it, we evaluated it, and you have to move by it to a certain point, too. So I think, uh, you know, our, our mindset going in was to to make sure we played on our toes, uh, to not, you know, turn the puck over, give them opportunities, not take penalties. You know, things that will get teams back in hockey games. So uh, I thought we did a better job. I still think, you know, we feel like we can still do a better job as we move along. But, um, you know, it's definitely an improvement. Take a couple more. Jeff Hathorne. Hey, Sid, what's it tell you about Tristan to see him bounce back like he did tonight? Yeah, I mean, that's, uh, you know, that's what you love to see from your goaltender. And, um, you know, those guys are, are pretty tough between the years. I mean, I think uh, just being able to, you know, to kind of restart, refresh. And I think everybody as a group had to do that. But when you see your goaltender um, do that right away and make some big saves early, uh, it sets a tone for everyone. So that was that was great to see. And he played well and made some big saves all night. Chris Adomski. Division race and winning a division title, does that mean anything to you here the last two or three weeks? I didn't get the first part there, sorry. Uh, I think you're talking about just the importance of trying to get divisions, is that what you said? I think winning the division. Winning the, yeah, I, I think, I mean, we're right there. Um, I don't think we want to look too far ahead, though. I think we're just taking it a game at a time and, um, you know, the – the important thing is to win games, to get points. And, uh, you know, if that's the case, then that's the case. But I think, you know, we're just, you know, we're trying to make sure that we, we play well here and, and see where that puts us. Last question, Jenna Harner. Sid, a lot of the defensemen have really been contributing as of late, I think, since the start of the month. Uh, Latang, Cody CC, and Mike Matheson both um, kind of lead the league when it comes to even strength points throughout that span. Why is what what they've been able to do so crucial for you guys, especially down the stretch here? Yeah, I think it's really important. I mean, you get offense from your defensemen. It's a huge boost. Um, you know, it, it makes uh, other teams – you know, more inclined to, to protect, you know, those shots and it opens up room in the offensive zone, you know, for fours to create. So, um, you know, it doesn't matter who gets them, but I think it, it's definitely huge and it's something that gives us a big lift when you're when you're getting offense from your defenseman. It's, it's super tough to defend when, when guys are shooting the way they are.